How's it going? It's Alana, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be attempting quite the feat and I'm going to be trying on all the clothes I own. If you follow my channel, then you know I just posted a kind of like closet clean out. So I got rid of a bunch of clothes, so I figured it was the perfect time to kind of try on everything that I decided to keep and see where my wardrobe's currently at. I've seen quite a few YouTubers make this video. I think the first one I saw was Arden Rose. So I know it's been hopping around on the internet and I figured I would jump on the trend. I think it's always interesting to see what pieces people own like in totality and how people put together all the pieces I have to create their own style. I'm gonna be showing you guys everything I own except for like workout clothes because like 90% of that is in laundry and I didn't have time to do laundry before or like pajamas or shoes, but everything else, it's gonna be in the video. So buckle up, get ready, and let's see what clothes I own. So without further ado, let's see all the clothes that I currently own. <laughs> we are starting off with dresses because I am by far the most excited to be wearing dresses for spring. Okay, I'm not going to talk about every item, otherwise this video would be about an hour long, but I love this piece. It's from a really rad sustainable brand called Arkins. I actually learned about this from Jenny over at the channel where I live. Check her out. She's a homie. I feel like a white flowy dress like this is truly a closet essential for the warmer months. <laughs> human it's quite difficult to find rompers or jumpsuits that actually fit my torso so this is a limited section <laughs> variety of coats obviously based off temperature and length and whatnot so these are my longer coats I like to wear this when it's rainy I thrifted this from the Goodwill for like ten dollars so this one is a little similar from the one before but this one has warmth on the inside and it's nice and baggy so I can layer sweaters for extra warmth <laughs> So for those who don't know, I moved to Paris on my own when I was 18, didn't know anyone there, didn't speak the language, I just kind of threw caution in the wind and went for it. And bought this jacket when I was there because I like to think it made me look tough. So when I was walking the streets of Paris by myself, 18 year old me was like, this jacket says don't mess with me. I mean, I guess it worked. I never got into any trouble or danger or anything, but I was pretty windy. So I actually got this jacket for about $10 at a thrift store and it has become one of my favorite jackets throughout the cold season. So I looked at this piece and apparently it's like an agricultural education jacket. I didn't know what it was and now I always get asked and look like if I'm a farmer whenever I wear it. So I'm basically the equivalent of someone that wears band team is in the band. I'm sorry. <laughs> Blouses, I'm realizing it's a mix of having like summery flowy tops. We got the classic button down. There's some things I want to tell that could take a while. Got some stuff at her place. She's got none of mine. Yeah. This is my peasant shirt. Hope you like it. This is my slightly leveled up other peasant shirt. And then this is my I'm slowly making my way up in 1800 society shirt. You know? You see. Now we're jumping into my kind of like crop slash 
night out shirts so I'm like oh if I'm feeling a little spicy and confident maybe I'll wear but don't get as much use okay now we're jumping into tees which I would say is my biggest weakness I recently purged a bunch in a big old closet clean out but I love tees Okay, I think this might be one of the longest lasting items in my closet at the moment because I've had this for probably six years. It's like a ten dollar in and out shirt, and I used to DIY my clothing. I purposefully like cut this up, and I like made a video about it. It was one of my first ever YouTube videos. Throwback. I used to always like cut up shirts and shorts and like dye them and bleach them. And this was one of them, and it's stuck through my wardrobe throughout all the moving and all the years. So I guess shout out to In and Out. I can't already tell Fiddler was my favorite band for quite some time. Still love them. Some of the best shows I've ever been to. Hi, so now we're moving on to the bottoms. Um, I am a lengthy six feet, so finding bottoms that fit my legs is quite a, uh, a rarity. So a lot of my pants are like high waters. <laughs> AKA there's like two to three inches um, between my foot and the end of the hem, but you know, thankfully those are in and thankfully booties are in because I tend to wear those quite a bit to kind of make up for the lack of length, but you know, I'm trying my best here. Also a tip if you're a giant human like myself, I always unstitch the hem of the bottom of the pants as you can see here to give yourself like an extra foot of fabric. Also these are probably the most extra pants I own because my name is indeed stitched into the butt because I went to the studios and they stitched it for me, so. That's fun. And as someone that's on the hippier side, I personally think that flares look a lot better than skinny jeans. I feel like when I wear skinny jeans, I just kind of get more of a pear shape look going on, which is not what I'm going for. So flares kind of usually help balance out my body type. So now moving on to shorts. Every single pair of shorts I own are thrifted. I feel like shorts are a bit easier to thrift because you can either look in the short section or you can look in the jean section. So several pairs of my shorts I found as jeans and then I just cut into shorts. All right, you made it to the end, congrats. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything I currently own in my closet. Feel free to give us a little thumbs up to uh, support the amount of hours it took to try on all those clothes. So, as usual, love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.